Hi, and welcome to Dawson Sense Online. My name is Ashley, and today is another episode of my Fempreneur series. Today, we're going to get into some more fun things. Um, we're going to talk about ways that you can create flyers and business cards postcards, images, it's all type of things that you need for your branding of your company. So I'm going to hit on several different websites. I might have to break this up some. First, I think I want to hit on places where you can go to make your marketing materials. I've used all of these before at some point in time. So I'm going to just jump right into it. Okay, so the first website we're going to check out is PicMonkey. So it has an online photo editor, but it costs you to use it. And let's go over here to prices so you can kind of get an idea of how much it's going to cost you. You can do a free trial, though, to test it out if you want to choose to go this route. The free trial is seven days. Honey has popped up. If you want to find out ways to save, to get percents back, like in rewards, from websites that you visit, definitely check my description. I will have a few sites for you that you can sign up for that will tell you ways you can save money when you shop on, on nearly any website. It'll give you coupon codes to use when you're checking out and all of that greatness. Ways to save, you know, dollars and cents online. You know, check out the, the, descri the description. But anyway, so the free trial is a seven-day trial. And they have three different plans, basic, pro, and team. So um, if it's just you by yourself, then you probably would just need the basic. It's $7.99 a month, and or you can pay $72 for the year, and that will save you 25% to just pay the $72 up front. And you can see the differences in the plans. You only get one gig with the basic, and uh, let's see, you don't get priority email support, or to upload your own fonts, which you can on the next level. And then you also don't get the discount for three or more users or a team seat and permission management. If it's just you, you don't even need these anyway. You don't get them for the first two options. So that are, that's the main difference um, in the plans. Canva.com and the Canva app is a great place to start if you want to design marketing materials, a business card, postcards, YouTube covers, Facebook covers, anything that you think that you want to design, you can do it on here and you can do it on here for free and you can publish it anywhere because you can download it as it says on the front page. So I'm going to go ahead and log into my account so you guys can see a little bit more of how it looks behind the scenes once you actually start trying to use it. So when you log in, it tells you some things that you can try to search and design like a presentation, Facebook post, poster, Facebook cover, Instagram post, whatever you want to do. All your designs will be stored on here. You can look at your photos that you upload. You can print from here. It will cost you, but that is an option that you do have if you want to use them. And you can also collaborate on here with a team if you have a team of people that you work with or that you want to be able to see the work and everything. You can upgrade the program to use their service because um, they have different things on here like backgrounds and pictures and stuff like that that you can pay for if you would like to. But basically you can do anything that you want to do on here for free and not pay a dime. So let's go ahead and go to, let's go ahead and go to Facebook cover. When you go to a template, which is basically what this is, a Facebook cover template, it'll be the perfect size for our, what you're wanting to make. And they'll give you some examples of other templates, like completed templates of designs that you can actually start from as a foundation to get you going if you would like to. And they have a lot of different options for that. So let's say, let me see which one I want to click on. Let's say you're starting a cosmetic business or you have one which is very trendy right now. A lot of people are doing it. This is actually a um, template for that. It has a paid picture as the background. Anything that has this grid on it and says Canva is a premium thing that you have to pay for. So the background is what is the premium feature on here. But you can change everything else like the text um, as much as you want to and 
you can go ahead and pay for that or you can change your background as well then if you like this template but you just don't want to pay for that background so if you wanted to change this text right here you can go ahead and select it and start typing in what you want to use I'm just gonna make up something here you can change the font the size everything that you can think of that you will want to be able to do you can do that on Canva and they have a lot of different fonts that you can choose from if you don't see one that you want to use you can upload your own font and you just have to pay to be able to use that service but I mean there's a lot on here the only time I can think that you probably would have to go ahead and pay for the service so that you can upload your own font is like if you had your own logo font or you know that you wanted to match to then yeah of course you would have to upload your font so it probably wouldn't be on here you can change your font color you can change anything on this template nothing is permanent So let's go ahead and change that background because I like the template but I just don't want to pay for the background right. Okay so go to backgrounds you can see different backgrounds that you can choose from or you can go to elements and you can add different icons and shapes to this cover if you'd like to anywhere you want to put it. You have a lot of different options for that. Of course, some of the can um, some of them you have to use Get Canva Pro to use. You can add more text on here anywhere you want to add it, and they show you templates of different fonts and texts and layouts of the font. You can do different sizes. You can change the background color. You can put your own custom color in here, add it on here if it's not on here by putting in the hex code just gonna play around here a little bit so you guys can just see how it works just click on whatever you want to use you can go up here to photos and that's probably what I want to do if I want to change the background to something specific because you can search for whatever that you want so if I search for makeup here is something for makeup and you can resize it and make it the uh, correct size for whatever template that you're using go ahead and delete what's back there um, move it, resize it, and what I like about this is their graphics won't like distort when you make it fit to the template. Then you can change the position of it so that it's completely behind everything or you can just go layer by layer if you need to. You can change the alignment of anything on here as well. Just depends on what you need to do nothing's permanent you put something on here you don't like play around put something else on there see how you like that all the images are free for you to use so you're not gonna get in trouble or anything there's no copyright infringement on this you can come up with endless things that you can do on here I mean and it's nice photos that's what I like about Canva You can rotate things. On this image, it's not a completely white background, so that kind of messed up what I was going for here. But you can also find out uh, what that color is in the background. So say if it was just like slightly different instead of it being shadows like this one is, then you can take this to a different website and you can find out what colors are in the images any image that you have or any image online um, you can find out what color it is because unfortunately on Canva they don't have an eyedropper tool where you can click and see what a color is within one of their pictures so you would have to take it outside of Canva if it was something that you were trying to match exactly so I wouldn't be able to do it just through Canva making that background um, similar so that it kinda didn't look like it was two different things but I'm just showing you some different stuff that you can do.
this isn't a solid white background either so you can still see that line of demarcation but when you move it over to this side there's no shadow on that side so it kind of blends better so you see how that worked out just play around you can um, rotate this fun bring it down some just create your own little design however I'm just playing around so you guys can see you can upload anything once you go to uploads um, and see everything that you have uploaded and click on it and add it to your project So if you don't have your fun on here and you still don't want to pay for the service, you can do like I'm showing you right here. You can make a graphic of your fun, the text that you want, upload it onto here, and then you can use it on here anyway. Just put it with a transparent background. And you can see there's guides on here, so you can tell if things are aligned, how if they're centered or left aligned or whatever. So right now, that's centered with the text below that I just put on here, which is what I want it to be. And then when you're done creating your graphic, you can go ahead and download. You can download a PNG, a JPEG, a PDF standard, a PDF print format, or you can do an animation, but that is a paid service, and you can tell what's a paid uh, service by it'll have a crown on it that goes with the graphics, the photos, everything on here you can tell because it'll have that. You can go to apps, and you can connect different apps um, to Canva as well that can be used in connection with it. And if you liked anything that you see on here, you know, favorite it, you can see it here. You can see anything that you've purchased. You can create um, photo folders with a paid version. You can use your designs as templates with a paid version. And you can create design folders with a paid version. If you want to do anything, there's the undo button. If you want to make a copy of this exact project that you've created, and you just want to change one or two things and see the difference and how something looks, just hit that copy button. You can add notes to the project. You can change the order of it. So you can make page two, page one, or have many pages you have. You can just change the order of them. If you want to delete, click the trash can. You can add a blank, a blank new page. And then when you download, when you have multiple pages, it can show you that you can download all of them or you can download select pages and that is how you use Canva so you know how I was telling you you can pay for them to print your stuff as well so say you did a business card they will go ahead and print business cards for you so if you didn't want to use this download feature to download it and upload it to whatever other website you want to use that maybe has a business card texture that you prefer or a business card paper um, weight or thickness that you like you just want to go ahead and use Canva, see what they have to offer, try them out. Then you can go ahead, instead of clicking the download button, go over here to print business cards. When you click on that, you can change um, your print options. Right now it's on premium paper, matte finish with 50 copies. And you can change your delivery option to what you want to use. And they say they have a 100% happiness guarantee. I haven't had experience with that because I don't print from them. But it's saying that for this set of options, it's $11. The next website that I want to take you to is Pixlr.com. Pixlr also has an app as well. And it's a photo editor. And you can create all types of things on here just like you can on Canva. And they have Pixlr X, which you can pay for or and, uh, try out. You can make quick image adjustments. You can draw anything on your photos. You can retouch your photos easily. You can use filters that make your photos look their best. There's elements for enhanced photo editing. Dark mode or light mode. It's convenient and user friendly and it automatically saves your files after so long which is very useful if your computer were to crash or the program was to crash because you're going to see it's more like a program once you go on here instead of it being like a website. Um, but when you have Pixlr X, it says that you can edit your photos inst instantly within Dropbox. So that's a cool feature. 
but I'm going to open up Pixlr Editor. And Pixlr Editor requires you to have Flash running on your computer. So if you're on a Mac, you may have to say that you wanted to go ahead and run it. If you're like me and I don't allow it to automatically run. But you can create a new image. You can open an image from your computer or you can open an image from a URL. I'm going to go ahead and click out of here though because I'm not going to do any kind of image. I just want to show you how the program looks. But unfortunately, um, there's always some kind of issue going on with Pixar.com, which is why I don't use it quite often um, unless I'm using it from like maybe a Windows computer. I don't know if it's just because it's in Chrome or not, but as you can see, the top of the program is cut off, it's blocked. I can't scroll, I'm trying to scroll, but I just wanted to show you that it's very similar to Photoshop because I like use Photoshop. Let me try to refresh it to see if it'll show me the top of the screen because that is so bothersome to me. But nope, it's still cut off. But um, like I was saying, it's very similar to Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, and things like that. So it's not uh, something that will be hard for me to be able to use because that's what I use to create my graphics and stuff like that. Um, it's what I taught myself on. It's what I've learned on um, when I got my degree as well. So if you're not as as advanced as that, though, if you never use Photoshop, you don't think that you can use it, then Canva is a better option and some of the other websites that I'm going to show you may be a, a better option for you. But if you want to have a little bit more freedom with what you're doing, you wanted it to be more custom, I guess you can say, you could use this website or app. With this, you can also download anything that you created, of course, and then you can upload it to whatever website that you want to upload it to to use it on. Or if you want to add something additional that's on Canva, you can upload it to Canva and edit even further on Canva. But now I'm going to go to fulltour.com and show you that website. So Fulltour is also a photo editor, but you can also design things on here as well. So it's similar to Canva too. You can edit a photo, make a collage, or you can create a design. So I'm going to go ahead and create a design so you can see more of what Fulltour can do. So as you can see, they have all types of templates. You can do a ticket, a wallpaper, whatever you want to do. Um, you can search the templates on the left hand side by clicking on find templates. And you can see a design gallery too of different things that other people have uploaded and made public on photo.com to kind of get some inspiration. But I'm going to go ahead and click on Facebook cover since that's what we looked at on Canva so we can kind of see the similarities and differences. And that's saying translate for some reason. I don't know why because the website's in English, I guess. Chrome can't tell that. While you're waiting, it gives you some little tips on how to use it. Alright, so apparently they have a new feature and that's using patterns as backgrounds. And you can learn more about that. But I'm going to go ahead and exit out for now. Alright, so here's the Facebook cover already the correct size. It tells you what that size is as well. Um, you can see the templates that you can use or you can search or you can break it down to seeing your favorites or ones that you've recently used. So let's see. Let me type in um, makeup. See what they have under that category. Let me just try cosmetics, see if I can see something different. And this is just trying to get you to go ahead and sign up or sign in. Because when you're signed in, you can upload your photos to the Photor Cloud and access them from anywhere. It also tells you that you can um, download your files in HD, JPEG, PNG, and PDF. You can make your designs public for other people that use photo to see, like I was telling you before, when you browse the design gallery. And you can share your work on social media. But back to what we were doing. So, when I search cosmetics, it looks like it's kind of showing me the, basically the same templates, I think. So, you can zoom in and out on your project. 
you can resize your project but this is a Facebook cover which is automatically the perfect size for that so you probably wouldn't want to do that on here but you can change the name of it you can preview it to see how it will look on a mobile device and how it will look on a laptop as well which is very cool that you can see that like seeing it live before you actually put it on there and you can change everything on here just like you could with Canva you can change the text to say something different I'm just going to play around put anything it doesn't matter I'm just trying to show you that you can do things on here to make it your own be creative you can put stickers on here just like you can put icons and stuff like that on Canva you can use your own stickers look at your favorites or recently used stickers you can use some basic shapes on here basic lines If it's a pay for graphic, or a graphic you got to pay for, you'll see that diamond at the top. Everything in here you're going to have to pay for because the whole category had a diamond on it. And it just goes on and on and on. With the text, you can create more text. Just click on it just like you would on Canva. It'll put it on there. You can edit it. And the same things you can do on Canva, you can do with this one. You can change the font, you can change the size, the alignment, and there's so many different fonts on here as well. You can change the formatting, you make it bold, italicized, the underlined, all the different stuff. You can see the color scheme that you have going on for your design. You can clone an item by clicking on this. So you can save your time changing the color, changing the font, and all of that. You just click on it, clone it, and change what it says. You can delete anything you want to by clicking on it, clicking delete on your keyboard. You can rotate things, put a shadow on it, change the transparency, or change the order of the way that it's stacked within the image. You can lock an item so that you won't make a mistake and delete it or move it if it's where you want it to be. And you can do that on Canva as well. And delete stuff, you can click on this trash can, of course. If we go right here, you can use your own background or you can change, you can change it to um, a background that they have on here. A lot of them are premium, but I'm going to find one that's not premium so we can see how that looks when you click to change the background. You can add a page, you can import an image. You can go to the cloud and upload your images when you're signed into your account. If you go to open, you can upload or import things from these different platforms. You can undo your changes, you can sync everything. You can share like they said and you can save. And let me show you the design gallery where you can get inspiration from other people and where your stuff will go if you make it public. If you go to collage, this is how it looks and the options you have for that. If you just simply go to editor and let it load up, it'll tell you to add a photo first so you can go ahead and get started editing however you see fit. So that is Photor. So, I hope you enjoyed the video and you got some useful things out of it. Once again, my name is Ashley. You've been watching Thoughts and Sense online. Please share, like, comment, and subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss the next Fempreneur Series video. Until then, I'll see you next time.